Today we are back on this 2020 SeaDoo GTI that was wrecked in the rear end. We got all that fixed in the last episode, along with cleaning up the engine bay and getting a lot of it ready to be put back together. This episode, we're gonna be painting the top along with a custom wrap. I did a similar design to an older Sea-Doo a while ago and it turned out pretty awesome. It was a good alternative than buying a more expensive wrap. I think only one company out there sells a wrap kit for this and it's around five or $600. And then all the material for this is gonna cost around $200. So this is a good alternative if this is something you're looking for. First thing I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and replace that starter. I already have the new starter in. I was supposed to do it last episode and I forgot. So I wanna replace that starter, spark plugs, change the oil, get all that ready while the body is off and it's easy to get to. And then we can start pulling in this other body, get it all sanded and prep for paint, take everything out and clean it. And then we can start painting. First thing, let's go ahead and get this motor all done and out of the way.
I got the starter replaced along with the spark plugs, new oil, new oil filter, all the works. This thing already has a lot of hours on it, so I'm just gonna do the simple maintenance. Try to get as much out of it as I can. You know, with 800 hours, it's towards the end of its lifetime, so just trying to get the most out of it. This color is really cool. I love this color a lot. And now it's all one color. You can see how good this body work looks. Pretty good, not too bad. Now this paint job isn't perfect. There is some tiger stripes in it that I see, but the tiger stripes are okay because about 70% of this thing is getting wrapped with different colors and it's gonna look kind of camo. And that's what's good about doing a wrap on these things because it covers a lot of the imperfections, some snicks and scratches. And as in my case, some of the paint flaws. And overall, it's not a big deal because a lot of it's getting covered. You're never gonna see it. Also went ahead and painted all these blue teal parts. Went ahead and sprayed them silver just to go along with this wrap design because I have a lot of silver that's gonna go into this wrap design too. Now, before we throw the wrap on, I'm gonna wait for that to dry a couple days in the sun, get fully cured, and then we can start working on the wrap. In the meantime, these things are teal and we don't want them teal anymore. Seat covers, oh, that's a lot of dirt. Seat covers for this model go around $300 and that is just way out of my budget. I don't wanna spend that money on it. So I'm going to attempt to rewrap these in a couple different colors to match the rest of the design. Hopefully it turns out good. I've never done anything this intricate before with a bunch of different kinds of sewing on it. I can sew, I don't know how well I can sew. We'll find out. First thing we need to do is take apart all this, get all the dirt out of it because it's getting everywhere. So we need to figure out how to take the seat apart and get the cushion off and then take apart all the vinyl into its separate pieces that are sewn together, make copies of them, and then sew it all together with the new material. Sounds simple, but it's really not. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to tackle this thing. Please look good. I don't want to spend $300 on a new kit. So we're going to try it out. Wish me luck.
Yes, I know what you're thinking. Zach, the green does not match at all. What are you thinking? Trust me, I have a plan. I have an idea that hopefully will look good. The seats turned out decent. I would give them a solid C plus. This was my first time doing anything this intricate with sewing. First time doing any marine seating sewing. I've installed pre-made uh, covers for these and that's usually pretty easy. I've never once made one. So this being my first attempt, I would say not too bad. Obviously there's some wrinkles in it. I got a few wrinkles in the stitching too that won't come out. I believe the seat backing will shrink and tighten up and look a lot better. Same thing with the front here, but the wrinkles I sewed into it, probably not. But that's just something you have to do and take into consideration when you are trying to save money. I didn't want to spend the 300 to $350 for a whole new seat cover. Plus I couldn't find any colors that I liked and stuff that would match the design I'm going for. So had to make do with what I could. So it's not perfect, but the ski is not perfect. It's not worth a whole lot, to be honest. So we're just making do with what we can, save a little bit of money where we can. As for the design we're going for, I have five different kinds of wrap material that we're going to make a camo style pattern to. Camo's not exactly it, but I guess that's the closest thing you would call it because it's gonna be different colors laid on top of each other with different angles, so I guess. Yeah, so basically camo, it's basically camo. First color I have is the same blue that I painted the body with. It is almost the exact match. It is a, maybe a little bit lighter, but as close as we could get. I have two different colored grays. This is a lighter gray and a darker gray to add some dimension to it. Also to go along with the silver. We have this big roll of black to match the different plastics, the plastic molding, the seat. And finally, to tie it all together and make sense of the seat, we got some lime green. This is very close to the same color seat. It might be a little bit lighter, but I think in the sun, no one's really gonna notice. And this is going to help tie the whole thing together. <laughs> it will make sense, I promise. Now, along with all that, I got another roll of floor mats. This was about $30 and a whole floor mat set cost around $150 pre-cut. So I saved all the original. I obviously can't reuse this because it's, I peeled it up and it's not sticky anymore. So I'm gonna lay these down and cut them out to match. I have all the pieces I need and this roll should be enough to cover all that. So first thing we're gonna do is install the wrap, then the floor mats, and then bolt this thing back together and see how it looks. Hopefully it looks good. Please look good. It's gonna be a lot of work.
I told you to trust the process and hopefully you did trust me because <laughs> this thing looks really awesome. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now I wouldn't say this is easier than buying a full wrap kit because those come already pre-cut and they just lay it on. It's pretty simple how you do it, but this is a little bit cheaper and a little bit more custom so you won't see another one exactly like this or at least you shouldn't. For a very cheap wreck ski, this is turning out pretty cool and I'm really excited to get it back on the water. There's just a few pieces left I need and I wanna do a little bit of other extra stuff to it. The side molding pieces, they have seen better days. These things are pretty rough and I can't find any new ones. Uh, I've tried multiple dealers and places online and no one is selling them so we might have to deal with these or if I find a part ski, I might try to buy them off of them if they're in good shape. It just looks really bad and I really wanna replace it. A couple other things, I need a new mirror for up here. I need this cover for the glove box. This is missing. These buttons, I also tried to order new ones of those and those are back ordered by the dealership so I can't find any of those. So if someone has a link to that, I'd really appreciate it because it's really gross and it's like falling apart. I need new handle grips and I need a new emblem for the back also. Along with that, I wanna go ahead and replace the wear ring too because I'm assuming that's probably pretty bad and that's affecting our speed a little bit. I learned recently that this is actually a 90 horsepower, not the 130 horsepower, which I originally thought it was. So because of that, our top speed is actually a little bit lower. It's not in the 50s, like I said before, it's actually in the mid 40s top speed. So it's not really that far off. It's still about 10 miles an hour off. Wear ring will do a bit of that. So I'm assuming that's a bit of the problem, but we won't know until we dig into that and I'll do all that in the next episode. Along with the wearing and replacing all these missing pieces that I said, I also want to add a stereo system to this. I like being on the water and listening to music, but the problem is the kits for these are very expensive. So I'm going to try to make one a little bit cheaper, a little bit more DIY friendly. Uh, that in the next episode, along with a cooler rack, I would love to build one of those. The Sea-Doo cooler itself that attaches to these are also very expensive. So I I'm gonna try to save a little bit of money by building my own. But for the most part, this thing is completely done. The bodywork looks amazing. Can't even tell that this was missing all back here. This huge chunk was all missing. I actually made it look a lot better than I had to because this thing covers a whole lot of it. So either way, it looks really good and I doubt anyone's really gonna notice. I do need to add the VIN plate back on here because that goes right there. I need to do that too in the next episode. Other than those tiny little pieces I need to fix, this thing is basically finished. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the design. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do, would you have done something different? Let me know in the comments. This design is very DIY friendly. You guys could do this. It's not very hard. It's very time consuming, I will say that, but this is not a hard thing to do to make your ski look completely custom. That is everything. I will catch you guys in the next episode. If you have an Instagram, please follow me there along with a TikTok and or a Facebook. I post on all those social media platforms, so if you guys have that, check it out. If you guys like my content and you wanna see more of it, you can subscribe, it is free to do, and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. That does help me get a little bit more traction and YouTube will recommend me to more people if you guys subscribe, so if that's something you wanna do, thank you. And if not, you made it to the end of my video, so thank you for watching at least. All right, I will catch you guys in the next episode, either on this, the other ski, or a future upcoming project. I will catch you guys then, bye.